guys welcome back to the channel today we're at another abandoned house i just came across this when we were driving down the street sorry about the noise we're real close to the road um this is an unusual house i don't know anything about the history of this house like i said i was just out exploring and came across it um so we're gonna go in and check it out Okay guys, I'm back in the house. I had to uh, come through an open window because the, uh, the front door there is locked. Um, let's see if there's anything to see. There's actually two structures on this property. This looks to be like a in-law suite that was at the back of the property. Let's see what's in the fridge. Mm, nothing in the fridge, let's see if you Nothing in the freezer. It does stink though. And here's some more shots. So we'll be right back. It's super bright out here, so I'm not sure how well this is coming out because I got a huge glare on the camera, but there's an there's an outside shot of the structure that I was just in. Okay, here's some shots of the main house we're going to go into now we're going to go into the back door here so we're inside a lot of old plants a pitcher now this house to me especially if you look at the wiring looks to be a whole lot older than the house behind it that is some old electrical wiring but you can see that there that's old. Let's go around here to the what used to be a bathroom. Well, I mean, it still is a bathroom. It's just been destroyed. Here's the bathroom. Here's some more of that old electrical wiring. Old medicine cabinet. Vaseline hair tonic and scalp conditioner. Heat. For arthritis. Huh. Those are some old bottles. Here you are. Still some curtains up. A lot of old magazines. Let's see how old these magazines are. Let's take a look. March 1996. Better Homes and Gardens. Got a clothes hamper. Let's keep going. Let's see. Here is a bed. There's a bunch of junk on it. Not a lot of stuff. Here's a really cool old fireplace. Of course, the house has got cracks in it. Paint's coming off the ceiling. Which is still interesting. Like I said, this house is old. You can look at the moldings and tell that it's, like I said, this house is probably built in the 30s, at least, if not older. A lot of black mold everywhere. Stuff up there. There's the attic, if you can see up into it. I don't know, it's falling apart. Let's go over here. We got some, oh, we got furniture in this room. I'll get to that in just a second. Old photographs. Let's see if there's anything in this book. And there's not. Old cards, old board game, old toilet. Looks like an old, maybe an old doorbell. More of that old wiring. A bunch of stuff falling off the walls. Still got some cool old curtains up. Let's go into this next room. This is pretty neat. Still got furniture in here. Got another one of those uh, heaters in here. Got some old furniture. 
little doll. Really cool. Another piece of old furniture. Here's a another old recliner. Here's a couch. I'm glad I was able to get in this one because the front door looks like it's pretty secure. Got a ton of chains on it. Let's walk over into this room. Okay, this is pretty cool. Oh, we got a ton of damage in here. The whole roof has collapsed. And it's all in the floor, as you can see. Here's another cool old fireplace. Look at all the paint peeling off the walls. It's cracking. That's really cool. Let's walk around here to this closet. Like some old clothes hanging up in there. Old vacuum cleaner. Let's see something. There's the back side of the door. I'll get some exterior shots of the house as well. Like I said, this is walking back into the front room. And you just got paint peeling off everywhere. This house is not in the best condition. But it's interesting. I've been wanting to check this house out for a long time. I've passed it several times. So it's pretty cool. Here we are inside the kitchen. There's still still glasses in the in the cupboards. As you can see, I'm sure people have been in here vandalizing this place. The sink's missing. There's another built-in cabinet. Yeah, another huge hole in the ceiling. So, glad I was able to document this because I'm not sure how much longer this house is gonna be here. Okay guys, I found a cellar on the back side of the property. I'm gonna go down in here and check this out. Oh, I hope not. There's all kinds of crap down here though. Uh, it's not a huge cellar. Old trophies. Now this is a tiny little cellar. Not much to see, but I thought it'd be cool. So there we go. Okay, we are outside. There is the, uh, I guess you'd call that an in-law suite. It's like another little house. There's a porch that wraps around. And here's the outside. And we're gonna walk to the front. And you can see the roof is in really bad shape. And here's the front porch of the house. And then here's the front of the house. Is in a horrible state of disrepair. Like I said, I apologize. We're close to a road and the traffic noise. But there you go. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to actually probably just take some photos of the outside and I'll do a, a, a slideshow at the end of the video. But uh, hey, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate you watching. If you would, like and subscribe. And I'll be back with more content soon. Thanks.